Well, good afternoon. This is Dr. Mark Cooper again, and I'm here to talk to you today about uh, what we call in natural medicine a Hexamire reaction. Now, a Hexamire reaction uh, is a reaction where your body is reacting, uh, is cleansing itself maybe too fast, and you're beginning to have some physical and maybe even some psychological symptoms of that detoxification process. And in the literature, uh, really, there's a debate whether this really is a true issue or not. In fact, the Hexamire reaction in the first place was coined back in the 19th century by uh, the German uh, and Austrian uh, dermatologist when he was working with using mercury to help people with uh, venereal diseases. And what he saw back then was these reactions which include nausea and swelling and inflammation and fever and headaches and, and some breakouts that were occurring uh, after being on mercury. And there was a kind of a concern whether this was actually mercury toxicity or it was whether the mercury was c helping kill the, the virus, the underlying viruses or fungus or bacteria, and it was your body's trying to release those and get them out of the system that was causing those reactions. So there's still some debate about really what really is happening. But over the course of time, medicine has, traditional medicine really doesn't pay too much attention to this. And, um, but in alternative medicine, we kind of see this happening from time to time. And um, I want to talk a little bit more about that, especially if you're a person who's been sick for a long period of time and decides to make a significant lifestyle change and change your diet and really go to a anti-inflammatory diet or a detoxification diet with some herbals or supplements to help that. And then you can get into, um, if you do this too fast, you can get into what I call a hex herxamire reaction. By the way, you can look this up online and, and read about it a little bit more. Um, but what's important is that basically when you make a significant lifestyle change, you might have some negative side effects that are occurring after uh, sometime in the early stages of your uh, lifestyle change. And again, these can, can be both physical and psychological nature. You might have more depression or anxiety, or you might have bad dreams. Those are the psychological variables. But you also might have some outbreaks in diarrhea and vomiting and nausea, the kind of things that you're trying to, to get rid of. So you actually might get worse before you get better. And in fact, this week I've had several people, this happened to them and they've talked to me about it. And, and basically there's some strategies to modify the severity of these reactions. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. So if you get into a significant lifestyle change where you've really made some big changes in your life and you start having some symptoms, then you probably, the best thing to do is whatever you're doing, cut it in half. Don't go so fast with it. If it's a, an herb you're taking, you need to cut it in half and cut it down and, uh, and, and see if that helps lessen the effect of whatever you're experiencing. Now, um, I would also suggest these other strategies. You probably need to increase your water intake significantly. You need to rest a little bit more. You can do massage therapy to help. You can do saunas. You can do a full spectrum tanning booth. You probably ought to um, increase your uh, consumption of parsley tea, which helps flush the kidneys. So you're, you're doing things that help the body flush these toxins out of your system um, uh, so it won't be so bad and you can get through it. But probably you need to cut back what you're doing a little bit and take it a little on a slower pace and not try to rush this system so fast and then be patient with yourself um, and make sure you got plenty of rest during this time and try not to do a lot of extra activities um, so up here I want to tell you about that because it can be quite psychologically disturbing if you're trying to make these big lifestyle changes and then all of a sudden you feel a lot worse and sometimes I do see that and I wanted to bring that to your attention Okay, and I hope that helps you. You have a good day, and remember, make food your medicine, and I'll see you on another side. Thank you.